adding a background. Hey there, this is Miguel. And in this video here, we're gonna be going over why would I need to add a background? How do I add a background? And what are the different areas backgrounds can be added to? Prior to getting started, you will wanna make sure you have the following. An active ClickFunnels account, as well as a funnel created within your account. By adding a background to your funnel, you're able to customize the page to match your brand. You can add images, patterns, colors to any section, column, row, elements, or the entire page. So let's go over how we can add a background to the entire page within ClickFunnels. Of course, the first thing you wanna do is log into your ClickFunnels account. And then we're gonna hover over the ClickFunnels tab at the very top here, and then click on Funnels. From here, we're going to then select the funnel that we wish to edit by clicking on the name. For this example, we're gonna be editing this opt-in page right here. If you wish to edit a different type of page, of course, select the funnel step you wish to edit, and then open up the page editor by clicking on edit page. I like to right click on it and open it in a new tab, so that way I can go back and forth between the overview of the funnel and the page editor. From within the page editor here, we can hover over settings here at the very top and then select background. You can see here we have three different types of backgrounds that we can set. We can set a background image. So if we actually click on this image icon here, we can use any images that we've uploaded to the ClickFunnels gallery by clicking on the image and then of course clicking on add image. We can also search for an image using these three resources right here. You can type in the specific thing that you're looking for and then of course click on search. You can also go to the background tab here and search for a specific color. You also have the ability to click on stock and view any stock images here. Now say for example, we want to add the background color of this red here. Go ahead and click on add image and you can see a URL is then created. So if we actually click off of this, you can see that the background color is actually set right here. Unfortunately, the section here and the other section here have colors set, so we aren't able to see the full color, but you can see that that background color is set. So if we actually go back into the background settings here, we can actually highlight this and delete it. We also have the ability to change the color. So if we wanted to click on the background color, currently it's set to white, but say for example, we wanted it to be this orange here, you can see that it's changing the color here. Now say for example, if we wanted to set this as white, the hex code for that is just FF, and we can just hit enter. You can see that it sets it to white. Now we can also set a background video. So currently it's set to off. So if we actually click on the drop down menu and toggle it to on, you can then see here we have the ability to add a YouTube URL. Now keep in mind, you're only able to add a YouTube URL to your page here. If you are looking to use another resource, of course you need to upload the video to YouTube and then copy the URL and paste it in here. Now you have some other abilities to change here. You can change the volume from mute to fade volume in. You can set hours, minutes, seconds, and then you can also loop the video, redirect the URL, show pop-up, or hide video. We're gonna to toggle this back to off here, and we're just gonna leave it the way we had it previously. As mentioned before, you can see that the background is currently set to that white color. If we actually hover over the section here and then click on the gear icon, we can open up this section settings here and you can see here we have the same options. We have the ability to change the background image. So we can go ahead and click on the icon here and we can change the background image. So for example, if we want to do that red again, you click on add image and you can see that that changes the color. We also have the ability to change the background color. So we can click on the background color and change this as well. Now you can see that we aren't able to actually change the color or that the color isn't actually updating. If we were to remove this URL here, you can see then the color is then showing. So keep in mind, whichever option you do end up choosing, the background image will override the color that you select. The next area is the rows. So again, we're gonna hover over the row here and click on the gear icon. We can do the same thing. So for example, say we want to change this row here to be a color of yellow. You can see here that the row is only changing the color. You can see the section itself is still that orange color, but the row is yellow. We can then click on columns here at the very top. Now, when it comes to columns, you can see as I hover over each column here, a blue border kind of appears over that specific column. 
So for example, if we want to change the background of the pizza, we can click on that first column. That'll open up the settings for that column. And then of course we can change the background color. You paste in that color if we want, or we can change the color here by changing it to white, removing that URL. And you can see now that that background is now white. Now the last area that we can change the background to is an element. So for example, if we wanted to change the background on this text here, we can again hover over the gear icon, open up the settings, and then going to where it says background color and changing that to a different color. Again, you have the ability to change the hex code if you have a hex code provided. Now, unfortunately with an element, you aren't able to provide an image as the background, but you can change the background color. So that's how you can add a background to your ClickFunnels page. Thanks for watching.